Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ciebiem przyszli, Boże nasz, przed Twej ołtarze, Panie, tęsknoty serca nasze znasz, więc przyjmy to błaganie. Po dziwny proczył polski lud, błogosław nas, błogosław Boże trud. We ask thee not for bliss in life, nor golden treasure splendor, but that we enter in the strife, Christ's kingdom to engender. Lift up from sin thy people, Lord, and strengthen us, O Father, bless our toil. And grant us faith, sustain our strength, as for thy cause we struggle, and when we falter, punish us, true God and righteous leader, and neat thy banner, gather us, renew us, Lord, O Father, bless our toil. Under thy cross we stand prepared to serve thee with devotion, be it with sweat of blood or tears or humble resignation. For we thy people are, O Lord. Save us, O God. O Father, bless our toil. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome for this commemoration of Blessed Francis Hoder, a confessor of the Holy Church, our organizing bishop. Today's Holy Mass is offered for our entire church for through the intercession of Blessed Hoder, our church may be grown, sustained, and may come to bring people to know, love, and serve the Lord. Also for the benefactors of this parish living and deceased, and for special intentions of thanksgiving. Today's Holy Mass in the traditional rite found on page 15 of the Beige Pew Missal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let's now pause to confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. I recall their sinfulness and seeking reconciliation with God and each other. Let's now recite the first form of the confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
as an act of penance for our sinfulness, let us offer up an Our Father this evening for someone who has been a benefactor in our lives and in thanksgiving for the life, faith, and work of blessed Francis Hoder. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and the remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you with his authority vested in me. I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us, and your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayers. Let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The holy ones of the Most High shall receive kingship to possess it forever and ever. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The holy ones of the Most High shall receive kingship. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, your love encompasses the world. Let the prayers of blessed Francis Hoder ever be a source of joy for us. May we imitate his example, so that when we are summoned, we may come readily and eagerly into your presence. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be attentive to the Lord's word. Our reading for this commemoration of Blessed Francis Hoder is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of this world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly, the despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sac- sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, Whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. The just will flourish like a palm tree in the garden of the Lord. The just will flourish like a palm tree in the garden of the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. The just will flourish like the palm tree in the garden of the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. The just will flourish like the palm tree in the garden of the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, 
but the way of the wicked vanishes. The just will flourish like the palm tree in the garden of the Lord. Please rise for the tract. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, as you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal. In your mercy, cleanse me, that may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you shall find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, and kindle the hearts of thy faith with the fire of thy love. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek of, and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate the great confessor of our faith, Francis Hoder, we reflect on the fact that he, in his humility, he in his meekness, he in his weakness, he coming from a situation in life which would count him for nothing, which would leave him as a really no more than a serf, an indentured servant, someone to till the land and die in poverty, that God would raise up this man to be a symbol of reform in the Holy Church. That God would use this tool, this man, to confess him before others, before the wise, before the powerful, before those who cover themselves in roses, those who aggrandize themselves, that this humble man, this servant of God, this humble priest and bishop would lead God's people to fully understand what Jesus was asking of them, that he would not down-talk them, that he would not treat them as only slaves, only property, only pay, pray, and obey people, but rather in building up their human dignity, he would help them to realize the great gift that Jesus was offering them and give them that opportunity to use their knowledge, their skills, their abilities and talents to build the kingdom of God 
right here on earth. For all of us, that is our struggle to build that kingdom of God here on earth. And following in the example of blessed Francis Hoder, let us realize that it doesn't matter where we come from. It doesn't matter what our life's circumstances may be but that we have the blessing of God upon us, that if we take up the cross of Jesus, and we take up his yoke and we follow him, he will work alongside us to accomplish all that he asks us to accomplish. Let no thing, let no person say no to us. Rather, let us know that in taking up the yoke of Christ, we will be blessed to walk with him into the eternal kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. The Lord loves those who hate, that hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Receive, Father Almighty and Eternal God, this immaculate host, which I, your unworthy servant, offer to you, my living and true God, for my countless offenses and omissions, for all present here, for our nation, as well as for all faithful Christians, living and dead, and for all humanity, may it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Lord God, you endued us with great dignity and worthiness. Through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity. May we worthily partake of this holy oblation in which our Savior gives himself as food for the world and in deepest truth unites himself with us. We offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation. In your mercy, look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Lord, receive us who bow before you in contrition and humility and grant that the sacrifice be so offered in your sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come, sanctify our almighty, eternal God, and bless this sacrifice prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which will make a remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, their sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Amen. 
Lord our God, at the intercession of blessed Francis Hoder, may our gifts now offered in this holy rite cleanse and protect us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Today we celebrate the memory of blessed Francis Hoder, who throughout life proclaimed your glory by walking worthily in the footsteps of Jesus, loving you and his neighbor, and abounding in faith and good works. Following the example of blessed Francis Hoder, may we strengthen our faith, live holier lives, and practice greater charity, so that one day we may be united with you in your heavenly kingdom. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Osana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Osana in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless offering sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church. They would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Bernard, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, Lord, especially all of the members of the Polish National Catholic Church and the Union of Scranton, for all of our parish benefactors who give of their time, talent, and treasure for the building up of this parish and your kingdom, as well as in thanksgiving for special blessings received and all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily as an entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his Almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you.
In like manner, after supper, take this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands. Again, he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice, an immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, especially all the departed of our Holy Church, all our departed benefactors, and all of the departed benefactors of our own lives, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and sleep in peace, To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name, their hearts always open to justice and mercy, with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, and in him, all honor and glory yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew, and all the saints, Grant us peace in our day, supported by the help of your mercy. May we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I'm unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return to the Lord for all the graces he has given me? I will take the chalice of salvation. I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise I will call upon the Lord, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters who are with us virtually today, we now join with you in a prayer of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, we receive with our lips, may we understand with our minds, may this temporal gift become for us an everlasting healing. May your body, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, whom these holy sacraments have nourished, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
But all his holy ones were in his hand. They followed at his feet, and he bore them up on his pinions. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have given eternal life to your servant, blessed Francis Hoder. Encouraged by your faithfulness, may we who have received the sacrament of the altar ever rejoice in the pledge of our salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may it be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tile lat me chi o panye, swuj me vier non vi panyeli, shvit kus foinze shvit zaranye, wine suk nevoli, targali wine suk nevoli, targali. O bodayem vier nibili, O bodai ten stand der schwiente as das gone un aschek fili. Du she ser zu biros piente, du she ser zu biros piente. Move to the depths of our very souls, Lord, we now turn homeward with grateful tear. Forwards divine the breaking of bread and thy joyous mysteries which we did hear. For now, O Christ, we gain understanding of thine own purpose and judgments true. Thy font of grace and water of cleansing, with which thy children thou didst imbue. And through the tempest rages on earth, Lord, even though lightning strikes at our feet, naught will deter us, naught will destroy us, if only Father thou with us be. Thy heavenly light has shone forth again, Lord, through the despair and darkness of night. As we unto thy word ever faithful, o'er all shall triumph and conquer might. <laughs> 